Here we've got a series of two cash flows and those cash flows occur today. So there's the 5,000. It's that one. And then this 2,000 occurs three years from today. So this is our starting point here. Now the problem that we're, we're working um, has the following context. We're gonna, we've got a bank account, so we're going to make these deposits, right? We're going to drop the 5000 and the 3000 into the account, and then we're going to leave them in the account and uh, go down the road and see how much money we have. Um, so let, let's look and see how far we're going down the road. So six years after you make the second deposit. So we're going way out here. We're going all the way out to year nine, right? Six years after we make the second deposit. And so we're asked to find how much we'll have in the account. So we're looking for a future value and that future value is at time nine. And so then our steps would be to first calculate the future value in year nine of each of the individual cash flows and then we'll add them up. And so we need to know how far forward we're compounding. So for this 2000, we're going forward six years. And for this 5000, we're going forward nine years. All right, so we've got a discount rate of 9% that we're going to use uh, in, our, in our calculations. And so our future value in year 9 is, uh, we'll first calculate the future value of this 5000 So that's $5,000 times 1 plus the discount rate raised to the ninth power. The $2,000 cash flow times one plus the discount rate. And that one, we're moving forward six years, so we have a six as the exponent. The answer to this problem is $14,213.67. And so in this problem, we're swapping this amount in year nine for these two cash flows that are deposited right now and in year three.